Hamilton som han har en stri i. Han har også Oxford. Didn't like Oxford. Didn't like the cut. Sorry, Oxford. Your rain seal jackets and trousers are brilliant. But your jeans just don't cut it. See what they did there? Feel, feel, feel the bit. No, the cut of the jeans was awful. Um, I tried to slim on, uh, say two sticks, two match sticks sticking out of my arse. That's what it looked like. Right, today I have set myself a challenge. I've never owned a pair of armoured jeans, so we're about to jump in the car now and go to Modulo and Antrim and see what they have. If they don't have anything, we'll maybe go up to Infinity and Boucher Road. Coming into summer, we're in May now, so I just, I just want to change. I'm fed up. Always either wearing the leathers. The textiles are too warm for the summer. So I'm going to get myself a pair of jeans and a nice wee jacket and some wee ankle boots, I think. I don't want a dark pair of jeans and I don't want a light pair, I just want them sort of worn. Because I could have, on the sports bike shop, they did have a really nice pair of, of jeans. That had, I had them in my size as well. But they were dark, a dark blue, and I just don't really want a dark blue pair of jeans. They were nearly black, just kind of fussy like that. And if you haven't already, folks, please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you haven't already, please come over to the Facebook group, Away You Go Community, on Facebook. Uh, don't forget, it is Away You Go Community. Anybody who just puts in a friend's request for a way you go, you'll know I'm going to accept them unless I know you and I know you personally. If you don't know where Module is, it's just off the M2 heading towards Antrim. It's actually, if you take the Antrim turn off, it is in Windmill Court. It's an industrial estate down towards Antrim and Orchard Way. Well, let's go in and uh, see what module has to offer. It catches all That's the other right. of module. Module are primarily Oxford. They have a, a dealership for Oxford. So they were obviously trying to get me to buy the Oxford jeans. Tried them on. Donna was very helpful. Um, allowed me to try on different sizes. Uh, first pair I tried on were, were lovely, except for the legs were too long. They were the best jeans. Now they were spe speedy jeans. They, they, I like the cut in them, except for the legs were too long. Um, tried on a couple of pairs of Oxford. Found out that I had to go down a size in Oxford. I'm a 32 waist. I had to go down to a size 30, make it comfortable. 30, 32, 30 waist, 32 leg. Slide, tried to slim fit on, like two toothpicks. Tried the straight leg on, did not like the cut at all. And I found that they were £129. <sighs> Onwards and upwards, now going to infinity. Infinity. Well, let's go in and see what they have. Okay, that's me got my jeans. Not only that, because of the customer service, 
in infinity by a young fella called Jack, which I've never known, didn't know him before. Scottish, believe, Scottish fella. Um, really, really nice guy. I bought myself a jacket as well. So I went in for a pair of jeans and I spent more than what I thought for the jeans. So I got the PMG, I believe they're PMG jeans uh, with like ghost armor. Uh, 220 pounds for the jeans. And then I got a jacket as well, which was 160 or 180 pounds. <coughs> so yeah, spent more than what I thought. But that's what good customer service is. Jeans just need tailored a wee bit at the bottom. So we'll get that done. So challenge done. As I say, let me write below in the comments what you think of your, your if you wore jeans, what you wore it with. Do you wear it with a leather jacket? Because I could wear this with my leather jacket. I thought right up your back a wee bit. Um, write in the comments below what type of jeans you have. What do you think of them? Do you, I know some people would buy the jeans and take the armour out of them. don't actually see why you would do that, but some people do. Um, this comes with the, the knee armor and the hip. The hip armor is in a wee, different wee bag. It wasn't actually so I'll be definitely putting that in because I don't want to have hip injuries. If God forbid that I should come off some stage. Yeah, so what do you use wear during the summer when you're out on a good day? As I say, I usually wear leathers. Um, leather trousers and leather jackets with just a, a long sleeve shirt underneath like a long sleeve t-shirt underneath yeah, so there you are now the challenge for today was to find a pair of jeans and not only have I find a pair of jeans but can wear a jacket as well so it's been a productive day it's been a productive day on my bank account that's for sure pair of jeans. So I just want to show you the jeans that I've got in infinity they are the PMJ uh, Unlimited Protection PMJ jeans. Let's see, they're triple A weighted. Let's see, triple A rated uh, abrasion, made in Italy. Uh, they've got a mesh inside, they've got a hip which you get with hip protection which you get in a bag both sides uh, it's mesh all the way down the front and the rear I believe no, all the way down the front um, where you do have knee protection let's see what else Cool max, whatever that means. Cool and dry. Engineer to keep you cool and dry. There you are now. The safest jeans on the earth. That's what they're claiming. Triple A, level two. Whatever level two means. I think it's the EU standard. Uh, EN 13595-1, level two. I have no clue what that means. It's got an 8 inch abrasion resistance. The only reason why I got these jeans, um, the only reason why I purchased them was the cut. I really like the cut of them. They're, uh, I tried the Oxford jeans on as well and they just didn't do anything for me. Um, these, I don't know, these give me a bit of an ass, which is, everybody likes a wee bit of an ass. So the only thing was they were slightly long at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go now to the tailor and get just the, the hem stitched up a bit and get it cut off and then turned up. And I think I'm going to leave it like like that rather than rather than that. I think it looks better. 
just the way we ham at the bottom. So that's the, the PM the PMJ trousers. Um, these are the Cafe Racer ones. A bit expensive. They're the most expensive jean that I've ever purchased at £220. So yes. So we're gonna go and get them sorted now. And uh, that's the jeans.